Good morning and welcome to week three, which is the solar plexus chakra. Um, the solar plexus chakra, I think so far, is my most inspired chakra. The color is yellow. I'm wearing my Batman shirt. Not like I need an excuse to wear that shirt every day, but it is my most yellow. So I love this uh, solar plexus. It's all about finding your warrior self, finding your truth, being strong and making decisions, being autonomous, finding your willpower and following it. It's interesting when we think about how the chakras are stacked up one on top of the other that leads to the next one. We started with week one, the root chakra, and the root chakra helped us feel grounded and centered. The second chakra was a solar plexus, which allows us to have intuition and the feeling of gut. The third chakra, the solar plexus chakra, is all about divine will, taking that root, taking that intuition, taking that creativity, and acting upon it. Here you can see behind me my chakras, and I'll just read exactly what the chakra says for us here. My will and my divine will are one. I am connected to the abundant flow of the universe and easily manifest my dreams. The yellow, the solar plexus that we're now focusing on is all about manifesting your dreams. You're rooted, you're centered, you're grounded. You have intuition and your creativity is a light from the first two chakras. Now the third chakra is about putting that into action. It's about feeling strong. It's about your warrior self. All the affirmations that come around the solar plexus chakra are about being true, being in the divine will, accomplishing your dreams. You can sometimes tell if the solar chakra is a bit out of the um, alignment or has a blockage if you have a lot of trouble making decisions. It's also associated with lower self-esteem if it is blocked. When it's free and open and moving, then that solar plexus helps us to know what we're doing, have the strength to make those decisions, to believe in ourselves, to take that step. And I really do think in this world, in this life, it is our point to manifest our divine will, our divine vision, because really it's only us who can create our reality. No one else can do it for us. And my reality is very different than anybody else's reality. My beliefs, the things I'm supposed to be doing here on this planet, it's all about it's all about me. <laughs> and when it's all about me, I'm able to fill my cup and thus share it with other people. The solar plexus is located here above the belly button below the sternum. It has a lot to do with digestive issues. If you're holding tension, it will go into that solar plexus. So when we're free and moving within that divine will, we often release the tension that is associated with the stomach. Because if you think about it, if you have fear, where do you feel it? You feel it right there in that gut. It's the, there's healthy fear and there's unhealthy fear. The healthy fear, of course, listen to it. If you feel afraid of like a lion chasing you or something scary behind the corner, of course, give that time, give that energy. But that fear of, am I doing the right thing? Should I do this? Shouldn't I do this? Should I buy the ticket? Should I ask that person out? Should I call them? That fear resonates in our solar plexus. When that solar plexus is aligned and free, we know whether we should call them or not. And we just do. And it comes again with that building of the intuition and creativity we've manifested with um, the previous chakras and the grounding with the root chakra. So again, the color this week is yellow, creating divine will. 
And sometimes, you know, it is, it's going with your gut, going with that feeling, you know, that saying, go with your gut. It is because of that plexus, the solar plexus is right in your gut. If you feel it, it's right. So for example, you know, I'm using this virtual retreat as a lot of the base of where I'm showing my representation of doing these things and building on the different chakras. When I was finally grounded and chose a place to land for the summer, I kind of started feeling creative and wanting to do something. I created, I followed my intuition. I created this virtual retreat and it is divine will. I followed that and people have been coming and sharing their thoughts, sharing their inspiration, sharing their divine will with everybody. So um, we're going to spend a lot of time this week in different yoga positions, different breathing, different mantras to create this awakening. Um, the, the symbol is associated with fire, with the fire within us, the fire that drives us. So what I'm going to teach you guys to do to start this is something called breath of fire. Okay, this is a nice way to start lighting up that fire within yourself to motivate yourself. It's a nice thing to do if you're feeling tired or sludgy. It ignites within you. The solar plexus is located just below the diaphragm. So I'd like you to take your hand, either one is fine, and put it just above the belly button below the sternum on your solar plexus. I'm going to move this computer just a little bit so you can see where I'm placed, okay? As I breathe, I can see my hand rising and falling. This is where breath comes from. Breath comes from the diaphragm, okay? So what we're gonna do is something called breath of fire, which is short breaths out of our nose, giving our body time to automatically inflate. This again, ignites the fire within you. So I'm gonna give you an example very quickly. My hand is there on my solar plexus and I'll show you first here and then we'll move up. So for example, I'm going to do breath of fire, short burst through my nose. Okay, that's what it looks like there. Through my nose, it's simply I breathe in and let's try it together. Remember, if you start feeling dizzy, you can always return to breath. We're only gonna do this for a few seconds. So take a deep breath in. Take a deep breath out. Take a deep breath in. And begin, breath of fire. Keep going. Breathe in and breathe out. Breathe in and breathe out. Again, one more time. Breathe in and begin. Breathe in, normal, and out. Keep going at your own pace. So when we're doing that, basically what we're doing is we're stoking the fire. We're igniting the fire within us. So we have a few minutes now. If anybody would like to talk about um, what they're going through in terms of this third chakra, this solar plexus, um, and a bit of either a blockage within it or a release within it. I invite you now to do it. Of course, this is Choose Your Own Adventure. 
So you're welcome to do whatever you would like. Hi, Tova. It's Indigo Liz. Can you hear me? Hey, lady. What's going on? Welcome, welcome. Thank you. Thank you. So I've just really enjoyed um, this whole experience. And I'm sorry, my camera's not working. I'll see if I can fix that. Um, last week, um, I was able to catch up a bit and uh, was really paying attention to the issues of flexibility and creativity. And that started to blossom a bit more. I've been working really hard on reclaiming my power um, for a long time, but in particular around the area of um, work. And I've had a lot of trauma in my history that has made me really afraid of showing up in the world. And so I've been working and paying attention to all the judgments I have about how dangerous and scary the world is. So I can, that's what I'm working on releasing. And um, I'm, I'm actually starting to get the sense that that's working fairly deeply because I'm finding my behavior starting to shift a little bit. I'm doing some of the things um, like um, learning how to use, uh, I got a new kitten complaining, sorry. Learning how to use um, some editing software um, so that I can put some videos out and I'm um, showing up a little bit more on Facebook and just kind of saying what I feel. So I'm, I'm really excited about just how that's naturally occurring. So I feel very much aligned with what we're doing this week and really grateful for this support because I can, I use all the fire and love I can get to my poor little solar plexus. <laughs> hey. Well, I'm definitely, definitely glad that you are here with us and experiencing it with us. And it really is an amazing thing. Like as we move through the chakras, these reflections people are having on their changes and the things that they're starting to see, focus on and come into balance. And I definitely know you're a creative force in this world. <laughs> and so I'm glad that this fire is going to light you up. <laughs> That's beautiful. Yay. Welcome. Yeah, I love this. I'm going to just read you this paragraph because I think it's very much in line. It's from uh, Budagrove.com. It's one of his blogs. It says, when this chakra is in balance, you're a warrior and a go-getter. You see your goals through and create meaningful change. Guided by a clear sense of purpose, you know who you are and you're willing to face any challenges that come your way. Notably, the solar plexus lies close to your abdominal organs. Just like we're often to fault, told to follow our guts, when faced with a decision, a balanced solar plexus allows us to make the right choices and to go forward. So I love that. I love that, you know, we have that ability to be those go-getters, to move forward in our life with the fire that is us, that fire that is going to ignite everything and everyone around us. And I've read that Marianne Williamson poem before, Our Deepest Fear. And basically it talks about our deepest fear is not that we're weak, that our deepest fear is how powerful we each are. And once we step into our power, we ignite everything around us. Our own light, when our own light shines, the lights around us shine. We reflect each other. So, you know, I really just believe that this week, as we begin to focus on, on who we are and our goal in life based on, again, the root chakra of grounding, the sacral chakra of intuition and creativity, and now the third chakra of our divine will and our divine purpose, that we can really begin stepping into it. The first three ones, as you can see behind me, the chakras, they're all the colors of fire. It's the, the motivation, the intuition, that forward mo movement, the conflagration, if you will, of our spirit and our truth. 
And I really think in this day and age, it's easy to not stoke those fires. It's easy to be complacent and not to step into our power. Because, you know, as you said, Indigo Liz, like, I've been a little fearful to do this. And again, it comes back to what is a real fear and what is self-imposed fear and to discern the difference between the two of them. And as we step more into our power, we become less fearful of ourselves. And that is one thing I have definitely been learning and continue to learn is I'm not afraid to say my truth anymore. You know, if I believe something, I say it. And it's been interesting, you know. I feel like everyone who I've, use that practice with not only appreciates it but respects it because they know that what they see is what they get mm -hmm. and when I'm in my truth everybody can trust me and then if everybody else feels that way then you create this like really supportive powerful community of trust support and everybody stoking one another's fires so that's beautiful is, thank you Tova. i never made that connection of i am being more trustworthy as i'm being more authentic that's thank you for that piece thank you very much yeah and that's a really clear easy concise way to say it i'm becoming more trustworthy as i trust in myself more because you want to be the person other people see you as you know my favorite thing is I'm a huge dog lover um, as most people um, the quote is I want to be as good as my dogs think I am and I do I want to be that trustworthy my dogs never question me because to them I was exactly who I wanted to be I was the person in the world and so my first dog actually inspired that within me. The first dog I rescued, um, her name was Riley. Uh, ended up finding her a new home within the community because I wasn't able to have dogs at the place I was living. But I had her for about a month and I would take her walking. And she was the one who taught me to reflect all this beauty, especially love and confidence. And yeah, when we are in line, we are trustworthy. We are confident. We we represent ourselves truly and people believe in that and we inspire others by being inspired ourselves. So does anybody have any thoughts? What are your thoughts? Feeling good on this? Okay, cool. I'm just going to show you one more thing to show you this sacral chakra. I really love the symbolisms here. The, color is yellow again and the sound of it is rum when we do our meditation tonight we'll practice that rum but it is a fire a seven petaled flower and that seven petal flower is the seven chakras ignited and alighted and aligned lighting our way into ourselves into our being into our truth my will and my divine will are one I am connected to the abundant flow of the universe and easily manifest my dreams. And I love that end part about easily manifesting our dreams. Because once we create our dreams, when we are in truth and we are in line, I believe the whole universe conspires to help us succeed. So um, just take some time today to think about what are your dreams that you're trying to manifest. I know this is a strange time to do them because COVID, <laughs> the borders are closed, you know. There are some new restraints, but through those restraints, we have that time. We're forced to come deeply into reflection of ourselves. We don't have as much noise around us. So take that time to kind of think about what is the divine will that I am here to create? So I'm going to sign off. We got five minutes to the body awakening. So um, does anybody have any more questions or comments before we sign off and get ready to shake our booties and wake ourselves up?
All right. Well, I'll see you guys in just a few minutes. Welcome to week three and this beautiful, amazing virtual retreat experience we are creating together. See you in a few minutes. <laughs>